We got the Yak 54 out here, and I've got the 5043 prop on it. Uh, in the past, we've we've kind of said that 53 was too, the 5043 was a little bit too much load for the 3000 kV motor, but my bench testing has shown that it'll handle it and doesn't overheat or hit uh, hit the current the current limiter, at least on the bench. And uh, but I was using a TP325, which is really stout. Now, I just tried flying it on a uh, Hype uh, 330 Babel bat that I've got, which is the, about the highest capacity bat that I've got that will fit the uh, slot in here and still let the, uh, let the top uh, of the fuselage close. And it, oh, it went into motor pulse just a minute into the flight or so it acted like maybe, and I did notice when I charged the pack, it acted like maybe one of the cells was weak. So this uh, is a much fresher, much newer um, Hyperion 240 bevel bat and uh, we'll see if it fares any better with the heavy load of this uh, 3000 kV 5043 prop combo. If it really is as fast as the bench numbers suggest it ought to be a pretty good solution for the speed freaks who you know are nervous about trying 3S in the UMX plane since they're not really designed for it. I mean most of the bricks, most of the AS3X bricks in the uh, UMX, two, two cell UMX planes seem to handle 3S without damage but you know a lot of people are still reluctant to try that so uh, if the uh, 3000 kV 5043 combo will actually work right and perform as well as it did on the bench it might be a good option. Uh, for those who want more speed but don't want to risk 3S. Let's see what happens. Oh my! Hit. This isn't the right airframe for speed. Definitely not the prop for 3D. <laughs> the, uh, the factory five and three quarter inch by uh, two and a half inch pitch prop is is a much better choice for. Uh, you already hear it starting to fall off a little bit. But yeah, the bigger the bigger prop that it comes with is a much better prop for 3D. I'm just trying this because I know that my bench test said it handled handled it without cutting out. Um, but the real test would be for those who oh, it would, the real test would be for the, the guys who are running the 3000 kV motor in their S box to try this prop on 2S and see if it works. But I'm pretty sure it's going to need something that's as stout as the Thunderpower 32570C, which is about the stoutest UMX pack you can get. I think it's going to need something like that for decent flight times. Because this thing draws a boatload of current with this prop on it. I don't have the ability to measure that uh, small amount of current accurately. All my stuff is set up for measuring 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 amps. Uh, so I don't really have anything that can measure 3 or 4 amps accurately. But this airframe is not 
doesn't like going real fast. It's not it's not the best plane for that. The S dock, however, is designed for speed. <laughs> yeah, this grass is too long. Well, I guess there's proof that it works. I could already hear it slowing down, so I think a Hype 240 is not going to be the battery. Um, you know, if I could hog out the uh, tray of the slot a little bit more, maybe uh, trim, trim some of this some of the ribbing out a little bit more up here. Maybe there's a slight possibility that I could, I could squeeze the uh, TP325 babble bat in there, but it's not worth it. It really isn't. Um, you know, it would be just a real heavy battery for this plane. But the 325, the uh, Thunder Power 325 works great in the S-Block. And with the S-Block 3D, the battery tray is already extended half far enough that with a um, with a TP325 babble bat, you can get the CG right to the neutral point. So, however, for flying really fast, you want a little bit of a forward CG for stability. So, I may have to uh, pop a 3000 kV in my S-Bach and try this out just for grins. <laughs>